Hello, let's combine paint effects and paint a tree and combine it with mesh. Mesh sits here. So we start with paint effects. Uh, under modeling here you find the generate set uh, of uh, commands and we get a brush. This is the paint effect sec section and right up at the almost at the beginning is get a brush. And we get a brush uh, from a tree which is alphabetically ordered here and we'll create that willow here. It's a very interesting tree. And we just do a tiny stroke like this and we have one tree now. We cannot convert this into a mesh network currently because uh, it's not a, a mesh. M-E-S-H. It's not a polygon object really. It's something in between. It doesn't render in Arnold by the way. So we need to convert this, modify, and convert this from paint effects to polygons. And that's what we're doing. We get a new group here now, which consists of two objects. A willow one main and a willow one leaf. Well, one is the leaf and one is the, the stem and the branches. Um, let's pick the, the stem, right mouse click and assign an existing material, which is the Willow One shader, uh, which should look brown now here, sort of. Yeah, it does. And we can uh, uh, attach the uh, shader for the leaves here, and we can uh, hide the original strokes now. Now with these two object selected, we want to combine them in one mesh. So we, let's go to mesh and combine. Now we want to use this quite complex object here for a mesh network. Let's create a mesh network from it. So we have lots of them now. Now let's go to polygon modeling and create, for example, a sphere. Make this sphere very big like this. It's called a P sphere here. And now we go back to the mesh to distribute. And instead of distributing it linearly, we distribute it over across that mesh, which is accepting an input here, or input mesh. So we middle mouse drag the polygon sphere right here. And now the trees distribute on the sphere, which is quite nice, really. And uh, we have 10 currently. How about 100? And here you see the power of MASH because it distributes uh, instances of the original uh, trees uh, rather than actually creating new geometry. And uh, if uh, I go to 1000 now, uh, the system will get very slow because the initial MASH, the, uh, the trees, so to say, um, are quite complex. So the s more simple the original object is, the better it is for a mesh network. But you see it still performs quite nicely. And when we render it in Arnold, we do get an interesting setup with nice soft shadows. And here you can play instead of scatter, a vertex, distribution, etc. Um, which doesn't make sense here. It, well, it uh, <laughs> Maybe it does for you. Uh, but anyway, um, what I wanted to say is you can combine paint effects objects with MASH if you convert them to polygons. Have fun. Bye.